Coach Materi. Alex. Dage. Alex and Blog Zet. <laughs> How do you think about everyone's performance today? From the team's performance to everyone's? Hey, hey it's his question, shit. please. <laughs> Let the man speak. Let the man speak. Sir? Satisfactory. One word. Next question. Is that mic connected to anything? Monomino. <laughs> okay, I just got a question about how this whole receiving battle is gonna shape up. A lot of people have been stepping up lately, and I just want to know what your thought on how. Whoa! To help whoa! Out. Part part B to that question. Part B to that question. What kind of fucking question is that? Tim Munch, freak athlete or football player? Freak basketball player that plays football. Next question. Uh, Mr. Kuderi, can you comment on Justin Andrews' condition and uh, will he be penalized for violating team conduct of drinking heavily before a game? <laughs> See, some of these boys here like to uh, party in the devil's dungeon. And we ain't gonna have that. Around here, we do things my way. Uh, so, uh, Rob Kyle saw a lot of action today in the scrimmage. Uh, do you think he can shoulder the load this year? Rob Kyle hell of that league. Watch your black! <laughs> yeah, see, Rob Kyle's a great athlete, and, uh... <laughs> Coach Vittori, how do you feel about, uh, the defensive play calls today? I got, uh, I don't know, I got a couple little negative comments from the team, some of the defenders after the game about the plays being called and what formations we should be in. That's a pretty dumb fucking question. <laughs> I don't handle the defense. Do you think you should start yes. after putting out a huge performance on the offensive end today? I think you should start with asking that damn question at Kurt Griffin's damn fucking press conference. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault there. Now, now the one. Now we're on the topic. Hold on, hold on. We're on the topic of Kurt Griffin. Can he lead us to a B championship this year? I think we got a good team. Uh, so what about that receiving position battle? Uh, let me touch on that, actually. <clears throat> remember what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Re remember when remember when Randy Moss was in was in Minnesota? And they had the Randy ratio? <clears throat> Care to comment on the Robbie ratio with the Owls this year? We were hurting today, you know, we didn't have Mike Cleary or Gary Brown show up. Coach, what does that have to do with the player's question? <laughs> 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 
Fucking a day. I'm not wearing this fucking thing. Okay. <laughs> Overall, what did you think of the uh, dialogue squad today? Did they spit hot fire? <laughs> what lineup? The lineup that I make for the offense? Or the, the lineup that Kurt makes for the defense? Today, sir. I just had to prove a point. Point proven. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be proving points or just coaching? <laughs> Do you think when uh, Gary Brown comes back, uh, he'll slip right into the corner position? I'm not going to lie, Gary is also a client of mine in my agency, so... <laughs> Who is a client of yours in your agency? I'm uh, newly acquired Tim Munch. <laughs> Two touchdowns today. Three coaches. <laughs> and... And uh, we're working out a deal with Ed Faircloud. What about a player like Mandela? You throw him into the right tackle situation today and he gets manhandled by two beasts. Was that fair? To him or the team? <laughs> I think it was on a screen. Was the screen playing? I think it was option. Did you see him get walloped? Play some good defense out of there. Play some good defense. We're going to call this formation Paul. Counter! Counter! Oh, Holding! Stepped up. He let his balls hang. It's times like that, you need every swinging dick in the room. What? <laughs> Al's predictions heading into the uh, 09 season. Domination of the eternal life. Next question. Yes, you, the ginger with the ponytail. How you doing, Mr. Squitieri? Paul Valentine, Rockland Journal News. Well, uh, I was one. I was wondering, is the quarterback controversy between Tim Munch and Kirk Griffin officially over now that Tim Munch has emerged as a significant threat at wide receiver? Oh hell no! Do you see? Uh, Do you see any of the game tape today? Go, go! You got it, baby. You got it. No. Controversy is our team's life. All right. Next question. I'm. Uh, I'm going to give you a few names. Uh, give me one word that that best describes this specific player um, out on the field. First name: Kurt Griffin. <laughs> Kurt is a special lad. One one word, sir. Special. <laughs> Tom Tom Griffin. Thombo. <laughs> Any performances that truly stand out in your mind from today's scrimmage? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did you, in the scrimmage today, expect an instant impact from Tim Rothschild? Dude, that's funny. Uh, Tim came in from the Bay Area a little sick. Got a minor flu. And uh, he played his heart out, though, on the defense. Got some good catches at tight end. What do you say to the critics that <laughs> said he was out the night before uh, partying? I know from experience, personally checked his room, that Tim Rothschild was in that his house sleeping. So you make bed checks is what you're saying? Well, we have curfew calls. Okay, and all right. So <clears throat> that leads into my next question. Uh, with, with no prior football coaching experience, uh, how do you expect to lead this team to a B division championship when they couldn't even win a C division championship last year? This is so fucked. Coach, you can't, you can't take a fuck on